What is going on guys, it is Jiggle back again with another video, and today, I, I, I know I am late, believe me, but we're going to be talking about the expanded and enhanced trailer, and my disappointment in it, and Rockstar's failure. So if you guys do end up enjoying, please remember to drop a like and subscribe, turn on post notifications, and uh, go check out the second channel if you're interested in variety content. Now, I really took a while to make this video. I've been I've been busy in real life, you know, I go to college full time, but I also wanted people's opinions to get out of the way. I wanted to wait a couple days and uh, till I finally stuck my toes in the water, get to kind of know everything before I just start splurging out random words and hatred against Rockstar Games, which I still kind of am regardless. I'm going to admit, I've been a Rockstar fanboy, you know, all these years. I, admit, I totally called the delay and I didn't really think of much to it. Like, oh, you know, it's just they're going to do something big and it's going to be t they're going to take their time. That, that's the big thing is that I think they were actually going to do something big to GTA Online on the next generation of consoles or maybe a tiny little single player DLC. I don't know. Obviously, I don't work for them. But anyways, I've been supporting Rockstar since forever and I still, I still love them to this day, but I never really think that they would jump off this much of a deep end and really take the turn that, ha that they have turned in the past few years. Now, it's not all their fault. Take Two Interactive is their publisher and can probably control them way more than we think and Rockstar might not have a lot of say in the things that we think they do but maybe maybe they do maybe they don't who knows so this new expanded and enhanced trailer that has been you know been advertised to us for the past like year and almost a half now may of 2020 they released the trailer footage and they called it expanded and enhanced coming to ps5 in 2021 at some point now it's been delayed but one thing that they took out of the name is that it's no longer the expanded and enhanced it is just the enhanced edition they even went back to the old trailer from last year and just said gta 5 is coming to next generation consoles not the expanded and enhanced edition which is incredibly frustrating and very confusing now, were we supposed to get some sort of expansion? Now, you know, when you hear expansion, I'm not immediately thinking towards a map expansion, but just expansion in some aspect of the game, you know, maybe another business or a DLC, even a single player DLC. That would be considered an expansion. When I think expansion, I think DLC, new content, new update. Like back in the old days, Call of Duty, their DLC packs were called DLC expansions. Those were expanded maps, expanded weapons, you know, those were new things. And now all of a sudden, Rockstar wants to take out expanded and just call it enhanced. So 4K 60 frames and, may, you know, some minor graphical upgrades that is pretty much already on the PC version, which I'm playing right now. <laughs> like, it can't get much better than what I'm looking at right now. I think I'm actually at normal texture settings, but regardless, it can't get, it can't get much better than this, which is frustrating and really annoying. So if it's no longer the expanded, why the hell the delay? What, what are you waiting for if it's just gonna be some little graphical upgrade? Uh, and I've talked about this and I think that's why it's being delayed is because maybe that expanded thing was supposed to be something big and they can't, you know, exactly make the promises that they once could a year and a half ago. I, honestly, it's not even COVID restrictions or excuses anymore. We've already dealt with this. It's been a year and a half. You as a company should have definitely adapted at this point, especially with your massive developer team. So my real disappointment is just the fact that they took out the expanded version. What was this expanded version originally going to be? Are they going to wait until PS4 and Xbox One stop getting updates or their servers go down or the Xbox 360 servers go down to release this expanded version? Uh, DLC or update or whatever. I personally think that they still have something big planned with the expanded version of once what what of once what what of what once what what the hell am I saying? I still think this expanded thing isn't completely out of the question yet. Whether it's a new update, I'm just gonna call it the expanded part of the enhanced edition. I think for now that they'll just simply enhance the game, and then by the time they'll still release, you know, the Halloween update. Christmas update, their December bi-annual uh, DLC update, you know, I think they'll continue doing that and then by maybe this year or possibly next year, hopefully, which is actually a good thing, PS4 and Xbox One 
uh, discontinue updates, and then they can release their expanded uh, DLC update. We all know with the recent AAA title Cyberpunk that released last year in December, you know, game developers need to take more time on their products and shouldn't be rushed and if they you know market manipulate or have this market sham that oh yeah this game runs great on all consoles when in reality it only works on the next generation of consoles and pc then yeah maybe rockstar's taking a little bit of extra time to wait to release that expanded thing until it can only be on the next generation of consoles and pc because how pissed would the entire community be if this PS4, if on the new expanded thing on PS4 and Xbox One didn't work correctly, or there was a lot of bugs, and it, you know it was unplayable, and it's all right. Th those consoles are already struggling a lot to run this game, even at its low frame rate and you know low resolutions already at. So it's still incredibly disappointing that we get this massive delay on this game that we were expecting. I would like to also mention again, I called it. I hate being right in these situations, but I called it. But also, why is the Enhanced Edition just not out? Why do we still know nothing about this product? <laughs> like, other than very much more or whatever they said in the trailer, which, like, what the hell does that mean? I still can't believe that we're talking about this game, and it's almost GTA 5's 8th birthday. I'm recording this on the 14th, so you guys will be seeing us on the 15th most likely. So two days from now, we will be celebrating GTA 5's 8th birthday so we're most likely not going to see gta 6 for a very very long time and whether red dead gets remastered or gta 3 vice city and san andreas get a remastered uh we still really don't have any clue at this point i mean rockstar is just still just kind of milking the shit out of gta online which is a good idea from a business standpoint but from the fans perspective you know rockstar has you know finally just really disappointing us especially even us fanboys I, you know i like to stay optimistic but i'm disappointed in rockstar whether or not they have the say or the do uh to do whatever they want because it takes you interactive you know maybe they do maybe they don't i will have no idea we're not in that conference room talking to multi-billion dollar companies and telling them what they should do or what we should do or etc cetera, etc cetera. at the end of the day if if i were wishing if I were a wishful man, I would wish that Take-Two Interactive and Rockstar would just completely end their contracts and Rockstar just go independent. Rockstar made so much money off GTA 5, literally probably billions of dollars. God knows how much went to Take-Two and how much was went to Rockstar, you know, I'm not exactly sure. But I just wish Rockstar would just become an independent company, release their Grand Theft Autos whenever the hell they wanted. I mean, I just wish they had more say in the product that they made, because at the end of the day, Take-Two has a large, large influence of what Rockstar can do to both GTA Online and future releases of GTA games, or just games in general. So, I mean, that's all I really had to say today. I just hope you guys take my, you know, opinion in consideration. Let me know what you guys think down below as well in the comments. I think I'm on the money with this whole thing that uh, the expanded part of the Expanded Enhanced Edition will release later on when it's just ported to the PS5 and the Xbox Series X, when the PS4 and the Xbox One stop getting updates. That's when I think this expanded thing will come out, or maybe they'll release it on single player first, whatever it may be, and then put it in GTA Online later on. We don't know. We'll just have to wait until March to see, I guess, <laughs> if it even releases then and doesn't get delayed again, because God knows Rockstar is known for taking their sweet little feckin' time and delays are their favorite. Right, Rockstar? Right. -o. But anyways, let me know your guys' opinions and comments down below. Let me know if you think I'm right, wrong, or if I'm an idiot, or if I'm a genius, whatever you guys want to say for yourselves, be free to say it. But thanks again, guys, for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Please remember to drop a like and subscribe. I've been posting a lot on my second variety channel that's down below in the description if you guys want to check it out. Don't feel pressured or anything into subscribing or liking or watching every single video. Only like and subscribe on that channel if you're interested and you enjoy the content for me, please. That's all I ask for. But yeah, thanks again, guys, for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Can I put my